Okay, everyone, I'm here to review the GTA 5 jewelry heist uh, scene with Michael and his crew. And there's two scenarios here, so I'm going to review them both. I understand it's a game, but I am, to this day, considered the biggest jewel robber in the United States. And I'm going to tell you how I would have did it and what the game might have did a little bit off or uh, how they can improve the game and how you can maybe play it better and may, uh, be a little bit more successful as well. So let's get right at it. Hey, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The really don't know who the brains of the operation is. The one guy's supposed to be the tech guy. And yet. Look. And Michael is supposed to be the guy with the crew. Bucks, I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Matrazzo. He's not supposed to be very nice. You also, you never rob just to get money quick like that. You have to plan it a little bit more. Uh, reason to do it than just I need quick money. Let's do it. You're gonna get caught right away. Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Uh, well, gems it is then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. I like the how they just pick. Uh, let me stop it. How they just pick and uh, Angelica's jewelries or whatever that was. They just pick it out of the blue. Let's go there. Uh, that's not how you case a place. That's not. You'd get caught in a minute. You know, you, you got to pick what store you're going to pick. Then you got to pick why you're going to pick it. You got how much money is it? The best getaway. They just picked one that they came off the top of the head. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south. They're picking a crew like it's a shopping mall as well. The Irish crew, this guy's gone. Uh, it doesn't work like that either. You know, you build relationships, you build uh, uh, knowledge and... You actually grow up with a lot of the people you rob with, and you actually understand them better than they understand themselves. Alf, they all went down. There was a, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. I don't know why they even need the guy with the cane. You got any contacts in LS or not? Unless he's their fence, and kind of says he's going to sell them at the end. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. When you go pl case a joint, you know, you just don't take your car either. You might have a rent a car and you, you could change the plate. Or you don't have to, but you better drive a lot better than they're driving. This this was a kick out of it. Uh, Darian, man, you got to learn to drive. Go through every stoplight, every, every stop sign. I mean, you would have been stopped a, a, a long time ago and this game would have been over. But I understand it's a game. Every stop sign, even hitting stuff. Bad driver! Here we are. Pulls up in front of the place and he runs to the place. That's another thing. You don't walk. What are you running from? Unless this is a time game. Okay, we need shots of the security features. The alarm system, ventilation, cameras. You don't need a guy to do what he's doing going in there taking shots. You do need to go in the store and case it. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in. Uh, on the wall by the side door. He's not going to know why he needs that alarm keypad. That doesn't mean anything. Give me an air vent and one of the cameras. As, he, as he's casing this place, he's taking pictures. Very conspicuous, you know. I mean, you don't think they'd be looking at him? Any real criminal would be pinned out in a minute. We need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up... Here's a big mistake, too, while he's talking to the girl. But one of them. Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. He asks the lady like she's going to tell him everything. She's a sales lady. That's number one. He doesn't even ask if there's loose diamonds. If you're a real jewel robber, the a mistake in this game, they would hide a jewelry box full of loose stones. In that jewelry box, it's usually a box that big, they'd have loose stones and you would take the... That's where the money is in jewelry stores, not in the stuff in the display cases. It's in a, a box, in a safe, or in a, in a hidden compartment. 
and you'd have to find out where that is. So there's the mistake there. What he could have did was, you know, what the game could have did is show, hey, listen, we're showing you some diamonds and break out a box from a different area and show where that box was. That would have been a better way to show that this place had a lot more money. In the display case, is going to only be X amount of dollars. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. He really doesn't case the joint. He's really not, you know, looking around. Uh, he's kind of looking around, but he's not looking in the cases, even to see what's in what case. You know, you, you got to know where the stuff is, where the important stuff. They're going to have some bling that's not even worth anything in in certain areas. And that, that that's going to be nothing. That doesn't mean anything. Find a way up to the roof. Now they're casing how to, I guess, throw a canister. <laughs> the driving is funny. I get a kick out of him. Darian can't drive. I hope he has a better license than this in a road. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. This is their case. He walks into the walls, too. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh. So, you keep up with the old crew? Now, after your death slash disappearance... They got the technology to be uh, talking to each other through an airpiece, so they got technology so they wouldn't have to do what they're doing. You can find all this information literally in the city ordinance or the city codes or anywhere. There were liquor stores to and even while he's casing this place, he doesn't have any gloves on. He doesn't have any kind of something on him that once the cops figure out how they did it they're gonna go he just runs into the wall that was hilarious well he gets there and he keeps looking around and uh he runs up this ladder and his fingerprints the whole way up they're gonna check everything on a big enough score you gotta actually case this place like you're robbing it and make sure you don't leave anything anything behind image. it looks like the highest point is on the northwest side Get a shot from there. nobody around somebody would have saw him I mean obviously this is a game and it's a pretty good game I, I got a kick I watched it a few times okay capture an image of the system and we're done and that's a hell of an arm to throw it across the way and uh, hit it right in a round thing well, how many canisters are you gonna really carry what happens if you miss the first one that would have been funny Guy even says to him, get down here before someone sees you. He runs everywhere. Guy's got a lot of energy. A lot more than, a lot more than me. Most robberies are not done like that. Uh, they're, they're, they're really planned out a lot slower, a lot more meticulous. And and the less action, the better. You're going to get away with it more. Uh, I did go in hard, and I'll explain that in a minute. Let's speed this up. We don't want to draw attention. Just says it. I don't want to speed anyone up. Let's draw attention, he says. But here they are. He's getting out of the building and getting back in their car. Look at the way he parked. That was great. You know, the worst thing you can do is bring attention to yourself. A uh, little, little quick here. Uh, stop. When we did a robbery, and I went and did a robbery in, in cities all over the uh, east coast of the uh, United States. You go into a place, and I might be in a city for two weeks, three weeks. We don't leave the hotel. We make sure we don't drive crazy anywhere. We go get some food and pretty much live in a hotel. You don't want to be seen in that town because you don't want to have them go to a hotel you might have been at or where you're held up at. So this guy's just all over the place. Obviously, he's just parked the wrong way. He doesn't take, take anything seriously in that regard. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. And they're racing. So, what did you see? Uh, nothing that'll... Just going straight through red lights. I get a kick out of that. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. You might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich... They're planning animals. it right now, you know, each other talking and planning it and the door lock we'll get a good window someone talented hacks it anything else well the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store by the register he's telling him where the most valuable stuff is how does he know he didn't even go in it that guy secondly uh if you got a talented enough hack like that you're going to be able to hack into their system 
and not only shut it down, you can actually find out where the cops are. You should have that too. They didn't have uh, radios hooked up to the cops either and uh, stuff like that. They need that. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then. Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get... Man, that driving's crazy. Darian, stay on the road. <laughs> Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. Uh, he ain't an amateur. Or if he is, crash. Once they do something like that, it's over. The thing's over. Matter of fact, if I even had a ticket, in fact, one robbery in City, we're going to do, uh, I even thought the cops might have knew who I was. Not by touching me or anything or catching me or anything, doing anything, but just something happened. So once you think you're spotted, you're not going to do the robbery in that town. Loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart... Now they're going over the two plans, and... Uh, ...evidence while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel. They're Let me stop it here. Right now, they're, they're planning these two capers two different ways. You don't do that. You don't have two different, totally different ways to get in. You know what you're going to do before you get in. In a robbery of this magnitude, you actually case the store from the backwards forward. You have your getaway. They say they have that plan. You have your getaway and can you get out? But the first thing you got to know is where the stones are. Can you get out of that store and what's your getaway, which supposedly they have planned here, which I like. But I also don't know why I have two plans. You're going to pick one and go with it and nail it down. More like in Ocean's Eleven. You're going to have a plan. You're going to stick with it. And you're going to do it. You can improvise during the plan, but you're not going to improvise before and put two models up and say, let's choose this one. That, that's not how it works. Digging off the Del Perro freeway, you lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him. Now, the one guy doesn't know the crew either, so he says, I'll vouch for him. This guy will vouch. Doesn't seem like either of them knew, it, knew anyone that well. Uh, believe me, when you case a store and when you pick your crew, you better know who they are and you'll know them better than you'll know your, yourself. Uh, you you want to know what they're, uh, what's going to make them nervous? Will they act? How they'll act under pressure? You're not going to do a robbery. You just say, "Oh, I heard he's good." That's not how it works. I'll take the risk. That's how you get set up. That's number one. I mean, that's how a cop sets you up. That's how a snitch gets you. You're done. So how do you want to do this? Pause. I, I'd make him a whole different way to make this thing. I'd have where. A backstabbing can happen where uh, it could be an undercover cop and you and you maybe bribe the cop. You you maybe get something on his family. There's a lot of different ways I would have did this whole whole thing for GTA. Run into the front door or try to play it smart. The the loud way or the smart way. They choose the smart way first. You know I like that. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. He's talking about how the better they are, the the bigger the cut. You know who they are. You know how much you're going to give them. You know what your cut is. There's no, oh, let me get a little better guy because I can afford to give him a little more. We're going to get more money. That doesn't happen either. That's that's just a game. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Going over the guys in the uh, on the cork board. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much... The guys you pick are going to be more... There's got to be only one brains of the operation. One guy's going to do most of the stuff. That was me and my robberies. And then I had crews come in afterwards and help me unload the stuff, have a, a driver to get away, look on the outside, 
and he also helps you case it at certain times so you're not the only one who cased it i usually did most of the casing but you might have somebody else check a driver or somebody coming and going or even go in the store Harris, <laughs> good feminine touch. I like what he says. His girl's a feminine touch and a hacker. I could care less if it's a monkey behind that computer if they know what they're doing. I'll get moving. Great. They use a pest control. Smart move to use a company. I like Michael now as me, which is pretty wild. Come on, Michael. Better do it right. Ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa. What? And how they work this is, uh, they do get a different stuff uh, they i would did a few other things too and i'll tell you that in a minute because i'll never forget how i did it now we all know what crew meeting this is a good one we've got a store to take the plan is simple elegant listen to lester pay attention to the information he gives you and we'll all make a buck if things go bad you know the drill things go bad we don't know each other that's a good one if you trust these people and you don't you have to tell them that you don't trust them to begin with i mean if you don't know them that well you're not doing a robbery you know there's an old saying and, it, and it's well known they say three can keep a su secret if two are dead think of what i just said three can keep a secret if two are dead this wasn't organized we don't know each other we got caught up in a robbery. Their hacker looks like a junkie girl. It's not going to be an issue because everything's going to go just fine. The, um, the what do they need this Lester for? Except I'm guessing he's the fence. I could have it offline myself, no problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. They should have made him the hacker. You signal Michael, he makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. I like Michael. He looks like me. He goes to sleep, <laughs> no problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? You do have a meeting beforehand, and uh, I'll stop it right there before I'm getting out of the office. We totally had a meeting. Not only a meeting, get ready, and I'll tell you what, that's when your palms sweat, your adrenaline starts pumping, and you know you go. There's no turning back. That's when the then the heat counts. That's when you know who's got the, the balls to do a robbery like this. And the brains, because it's easy to have balls and no brains and get caught. But, you know, like I said, I was at it for seven years and uh, robbed 15 to $18 million and got away with it. So there's something to say for that. Frank, you're with me. Paige? He's telling people on the way down who's with who. They should know all of that. You're in the van, all right? I like where they use names. They said, oh, you names are not, never even used. The less even talking, the better. You don't want them to know your accent. You don't want them to know anything about you. You might slip and say anything. Say nothing. You might say, go, out. There's no talking at all in a robbery. Everyone has a job and knows what to do. I would go in, hit the cabinets, take the people down, bring people in, and, and work it like that. Uh, Obviously, I'll be talking a lot more about actual robbery soon. All right, you got it down? Here they go. They didn't talk about changing the plates, doing anything for this car. Uh, this part kind of confused me a little bit because... And the getaway, too. I'll tell you that in a minute. I stuck my neck out for you here. Again, this guy's driving like an animal, man. That's the worst time you should drive like an animal. Even hits a few cars, I think. <laughs> so I didn't prove myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Yeah, but these guys don't... He's trying to vouch for each other on the way to the robbery. If I don't trust someone on the way to a robbery, the robbery's off. E even if I know him. What's up, man? Good. I got enough shit. Bang, hit somebody. Robbery's over. <laughs> what you got to worry about? I don't know. I ain't done any real work in years, you know, so I'm giving half the take to guys who are supposed to be the best in the business. All right. They're making this out to be, there's a lot of, in the business is a lot of them. There's, there's smash and grabbers, and then there's pros like I was. 15 to a hacker? And that's on top of all the other outlets. I feel like a chump buying myself a score. On the way to robbery. Guess we'll find out if they worth it, right? All right, this is it up there. There's a way through the side. He's so funny. He hit so many people on the way. I, I was laughing so hard. Man, we went over this. I'm cool. Here, here they go. He's going. He parks right there. Right, when the gas is in the ventilation 
to head up. To go throw the, the gas into the event. He's going up the stairs now. Not worrying about seeing it all. He mentions hello or something. Excuse me! Yeah. Exterminator! Hey, they ain't no You would know that already. And if it's during this, it must be a weekend robbery. Because there'd be somebody there during the week. Again, here he is. Doing everything right this time because he's got gloves on. But they would have caught you to place before when you did the case in the place. He gets a little lost there. <laughs> Up the stairs. And... Almost there. See, when he cased the joint, he actually went up there with his hands and fingerprints. And believe it, they'd get that. They're real good. So you had some grenades on you. Don't throw them instead of the gas. Don't throw the grenades. <laughs> I think I can tell the difference. I like this part. I got it. Look at this. He throws it. Picks the gas canister. One shot. Pretty good. Pretty good throw. Wow. <laughs> That was it. They going out. Here's another thing. They're in the store and the gas comes through. I love her a lot. I just... They have an alarm. They have buttons in a jewelry store. The buttons that would have been hit right away. Automatic cops are on their way. There's no wait for the alarm for a minute and a half. They're done already. The alarms went off. Every They have the managers carry an alarm in their pocket. Man, I would have made this, this robbery a lot better in GTA. I would have made it more realistic. Let's do this. Come on. And look when they're banging it in. They're not even getting it. They're getting a few pieces. You know, it takes a, a little time to get the whole stuff. I would be in a robbery. Around a minute and a half before the alarm will reset itself. I would be in a robbery for sometimes 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Take people down. You should be able to strip the joint. Come on. 120 remaining. Let's go. Let's go. I'm stopping it while he's doing the robbery. And I'll tell you why. One robbery I did, I was in the store for almost 30 minutes. Probably 25, 30 minutes. There was a cop car waiting out front. Not for me. Just pulled up and he was talking to other people. And the cop car was out front. So I had to wait for that cop car to leave. Even though I wasn't going out the front. I couldn't have somebody get out of their, their flex cuffs or what we had them in. And auto automatically that cop would have been way too close. So we waited till he left. When he left, then we went out the back. And that was in Daytona. And, and I'll tell you what. I mean, we were in that store as long as we had to be in that store. First of all, if you're going the right way, alarms aren't going off. Obviously, this is, this is they are going off. Alarms would have went off already. Just started. Hey, buddy, you can handle the merch like that. You're going to earn your 12%. You're going to earn your 12%. That was a good one. It just takes one or two pieces. Keep it up. See how much we can get. 40 seconds. They're out of stones. Let's hit the road. Coast is clear. If we move now, man, it'll be a clean getaway. So for the last time, move it. Man, get the fuck out of my face. Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I, I like the way the guard's just throwing out forgets. It doesn't pose a gun, doesn't do anything. Then they stop. Now they're going to plan two, the loud approach. Run into the front door or try to play it smart. This is smash and grabs. This is... The I actually went in and never loud. Took him down slow. But when I took him down, I owned that store. And I did go in the front door. Through the tunnels. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Yeah, it might be hot and heavy in there. This guy will keep it from going bad. McReary? He was part of a well known Liberty City stick up crew. Small I like them picking their crews. They pick them like the. Like you got a book to pick people out of. It's so not how it is. You better know the people you're robbing with. Or you're, you're done before you even start. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. <laughs> he might not be a good hacker, but he's enthusiastic. Yeah, you really want that guy. <laughs> She'll be able to find any back doors they got. <laughs> like a little uh, back door insinuendo with the woman. Funny. Attack team and get their weapons, and I'll be in touch. Uh, yes, huh? good. good. He's Larry again. Uh, I mean Michael. <laughs> Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more. You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. He 
Here it is. Morning. All now, right. I'll stop it here right before they're going to do it. And they're in there together. Uh, I did rob them in the mornings, usually when the sun was coming up at a certain time. So nobody else can look in the store because of the light or the reflection. Uh, you know, the sun rises in the east and falls in the west. And if there's glare coming into that window, nobody can see in. And that's important in a robbery. Also, if something's in the robbery windows, they can't see in. So that's stuff that jewelry stores uh, need to fix themselves. Obviously, in the game, they don't talk about that. They should have. We're all professionals. We all know the score. He's given his little meeting again. We're going to move quick, and we're going to keep cool. Anybody gets pinched, this meeting never took place. We don't know each other. Is that clear? Now, we've um, looked very, very carefully at the plans. We considered something more complicated, but given the location, the weakness of staffing, and the... Lester's given the, uh, what simple plan will work his plans, the brains, I guess he is. Disable security and waltz right in through the front door. The security guard should be to our left. We neutralize him. Fifteen seconds later, you come in. I want extreme pressure applied to the staff, the customers are to be calmly subdued. I want one guy on crowd control while you and I empty out the merchandise from the cabinets. Stop it here. He's talking about the jobs each person. That's good. That was really good. Everyone will have a job. You're going to be either the driver or you're going to be the guy taking down the salesperson. I take down the owner. If it's going to be a multiple takedown, and I've done those, and then you hit this side of the store for all the cases and you hit the other side or you hit the safes. I would always get to the box of diamonds, and I would also get to the uh, safe where where the big money was. We're in and out in 90 seconds, guys. In and out in 90 seconds, not happening. Get away. I'm leaving on foot. Any questions? Good luck, everyone. In the parlance of robberies, they call them smash and grabs. The guy go in and smash a, a hammer right through a glass and take a $30,000 ring or three rings or whatever's in that case. Call them smash and grabs. You're never going to get good. You're never going to get as big as I am, and you're going to get caught. Uh, that's just going to happen. Go. Yeah, come on, get in. Here they're heading down the stairs and Page. heading to their robbery. Page. With me. Guy falls down. That what made me laugh. Man. Franklin's driving. I'm in the passenger seat. I'm telling you, your adrenaline would be pumped right now. Believe it. I mean, pumped. I don't care who you are and how many you've done. I've done a, tw over 20 major jewelry robberies and other robberies, not counting those. Your adrenaline is blowing out. Your, your, your palms are sweating. And it's controlling that adrenaline is the people who, who make it. It's funny, I got Michael on my shirt. All right, listen up. The four of us in this van, we're about to become accomplices in a major crime. I got to be able to trust you with my life. I think he should trust me. You don't have to tell him I got to trust you. Listen to me. If I did a robbery today, I would kill everybody involved. I know that sounds rough, but that's the truth. That's the way it would have to be. Did a $20 million score, I'd have to kill everybody involved. Because only three can keep a secret if two are dead. That's that's a true statement. People in the joint used to tattoo that on their on their necks. Anyone yaps about me or any of you? Warning everybody yaps. <laughs> Hit his own truck. Good. Now, Frank, over to you. Uh, yeah, man, I'm Franklin, dog. And um, they, they're giving their resumes in the van on the way to the robbery. I got a kick out of that. Believe me, it's quiet in that van or in the, the car you're doing. It's very quiet. Everybody's getting their own own thoughts together, getting psyched up. You have a couple of things you can do. Make sure your your gloves are ready. I got all the equipment you need on you. I guess I found out pretty young I could pull a trigger, but it was a couple of years before they started doing it for bread. You know what I'm saying? Instead of that repping where you from bullshit, and here we are. He's got to sell himself. I'm got. I love that. He'll be cleaning out the cabinets and handling the getaway. He's got you some bikes for that. All you need to know about him is he's good. Like, uh, what happened last time? I guess for time, they just do everything illegal. I mean, that, that I get it, the biggest kick out of. 
I mean, we could make a robbery pretty cool in one of these videos if you did it the right way and you really planned it like a real robbery, like I did them. If they took some of my robberies and I went over them, it would blow you away. Because I used to always want to be a fly on the wall after a robbery hit. Help! Let's move. Oh my God. Pull right up. Why would you have a suit on? You'd have comfortable clothes on, number one, too. You wouldn't need a suit. What do you need a suit for? You're going in with rifles out. It's not like it, you're going in quiet and then breaking out the rifles. You're going in with big rifles right through. Why do you need suits? Please don't make me ruin all the great work. The alarms are hit. The, the manager, while they're in there doing this right now, the manager hit the alarm. Because he's got one in his pocket. There you go. Cleaning out the displays. They had some big, big briefcases for the little stuff they're getting. See, that alarm thing, again, is a big misnomer. The alarms are set. Even if those glasses broke, the alarm's set. Automatic. Now, if you can disable that alarm, they have what they call, now they have off-site alarms, and they have buzzer alarm, like your car buzzer. Gee, nice work on the crowd. You're worth whatever we're paying. They didn't know the girl was in the back. Pretty big mistake. She could have been on the phone with the police. If I didn't know who they were and where they were, I would never rob her. I'll stop it right here. One way to prevent me from robbing a store was put a two-way glass. And then if I couldn't justify where everybody in that store should have been from knowing who's coming and going, I wouldn't do it. And a lot of times in case I couldn't get to that thing, maybe a car was in a parking lot that I might have thought someone was still working in the back late and I cased it long enough. Two-way glass is very scary me for because I don't know who is behind there. And uh, that's an easy way. It's another safety and security they could have put up. 40 seconds. Hey, they are continuing. You won't even 40 get seconds. Hey, we hit our target. Let's see how high we can go. They're out of stone, so let's hit the road. It's quiet out here, man. Guys talking, we hit our target. They wouldn't say a word. Go. The words are go. Move it. Make it the fuck out of my face. Here's a ticket taker or, or guy on the thing. Didn't have a radio. See at the river. Go. Now we go to the getaway. Go. Love the getaway. Stay close. Stay safe. If the cops weren't coming there already. Why would you go crazy again? I keep getting going through my head. Come on. No, oh, loser. Uh, I think the game. Missed the cops in helicopters. Uh, they're up and quick and they're out there, especially in a big city. They got cops everywhere. They sure would have the, the uh, helicopter. I do like that they have a planned getaway. I love that. They knew where they were going, when they were going to hit it, what ways they went. Obviously, they, they actually went their getaway. That's what you do. You plan your getaway and you do the getaway. No way the cops would have found them if that really was what they did. Too many ways to get out. He's a good motorcycle driver, Darian. But he's not such a good car driver. Getaway's pretty cool. I mean, it's a good scene. Uh, you do want to get out of there quick. You want to get as far away from a place and as fast as you can. You know that old uh, adage of, you know, staying, laying low right around the area and then getting out later? No. You want to make have as much distance as you can without being seen. So you don't have to go down 95, you know, 100 miles an hour to get away from a scene. Stay inconspicuous. In inconspicuous. But you want to keep going. When I robbed the jewelry store, let me stop, on the getaway. When I did my getaway and I robbed the jewelry store, if I robbed the jewelry store in Florida, I was in New York in 20 hours. The jewelry and everything was out of my hands within 24 hours. No matter where I was, I got to the, where I had to go straight with coffee, multiple drivers, nonstop. That you get that stuff out of your hands as soon as you can. Get to your destination. Get to your fence as quick as you can. I see light. We're out. Bike team, the plan hasn't worked. Cops are waiting 
I love the IT knows everything. We're here, but be ready. I love this motorcycle chase with the cops. This was good. This truck must be souped up. Because it's catching cop cars. Knocking them off the road. I just love this part. Actual motorcycles would be a good getaway. If you were in a, in a specific area and you knew your getaway and got it to under a... Uh, uh, like a parking garage had another dump car. Without a big showdown with the law. I'm just gonna keep driving. Another car, man. Deal with these rollers. I totally got a kick at it. Just get away. You hear in the sirens. I don't know. Twenty cop cars I saw in this whole thing, or fifteen or whatever it was. Now they say no cops in the area, no helicopters. Here's funny. All right, we got a window. Let's stop at the end of the river, get the bikes They the stop truck. at the end of the river, and they put the motorcycles in the same truck they were just in. You would First thing, I'll stop right there while they're putting the, the car, uh, motorcycles in the truck. Obviously, if you do, uh, they call them double getaway vehicles, you go from one to another to another sometimes because you don't even want somebody to see you get out of one and into another. Because somebody's going to call the police. Somebody's going to contact somebody and say, oh, I saw him get in this car. Yes, the first thing you should do is switch vehicles. But you don't go into the same vehicle that's running from the cops. That was kind of funny. So, And you want to get to where you're going as quick as you can, like I said. But you do it with a, a switch car. And then, obviously, the best way to do that, too, is have a can of gasoline in your car. And when you dump that car, you torch it. You literally torch it that quick. F, come on, get in. So they're waiting. All this time they had all that chasing. Now they're waiting to get these people in a truck. Lester's waiting. Now we just drive up the river. And they get out. They get out of the river and they're free. Okay. <laughs> Even here, he drives up on the road. And you'd think he would, like, stop at the stop sign if you're not being seen? I didn't get that. Oh, fuck, man. I thought I was going to be stuck. See here, he goes right through the red light. Right now, he makes a left turn at a red light in front of a car. Why would you do that? We did not just get away with that shit, did we? I just think too realistically. It's a good game, though. Goes right through the stop sign. Gets in. Did it! Woo! All in a day's work. I do like this. They get the vehicle underneath something, not out in the open, again, for air. They cover where it is. This funny end of the part. Here comes uh, Michael. Covers the door. I got the door. I thought the girl was the hacker. Where would she be? She wouldn't have been in one of those uh, vehicles. Here, keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester? Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody, take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things. Michael's there. trying to get his crew together now. This is what it looks like to me. That's what I would be doing, trying to get my crew together, getting a real crew. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. Okay, as this thing comes to an end, a couple of notes. Uh, it's a pretty good game. A lot of fun. I actually got into it. Uh, everything jumps at me really quickly. I'm like, wow, why wouldn't they do this? I think they could have made the game better, more realistic. Could have made it just like a robbery. Uh, I've done them. Uh, know exactly what they could. Could have made a little bit things more realistically. They could have... Uh, uh, the diamonds at the end, that's a big place where they people get away. They tell him he's going to go get, get your money, get lost. You know, obviously you do do that. You know, you have to give out the money the right way. You don't just get the money, especially with diamonds. They got to be sold and you're going to get about 30%, give or take, about 30% on a dollar. Maybe less, maybe more, depending on what it is. So there was some realistic parts of this. Obviously, it's a game. Uh, I, I think I could... I mean, the way the jewelry store was set up, uh, I think the way the cabinets were set up kind of brought back some memories because I've been in jewelry stores that were just like that, uh, the way they set up. And then I could tell you where there's buzzers and how they have over override systems. There's a lot of things they could have did differently in the game, but it's a good game. It was kind of fun to watch. Uh, it was kind of fun to watch Michael try to get a crew together, which that's not how you do it either. You know your crew. 
and you know him from history, you know him for a lot better. You're partying with him, get to know him very well. So, great game. I'm glad I reviewed it. Give me some feedback. Uh, I can answer any real questions. I, I almost want to make a game to show you what a real robbery would be like and the real casing of the place and the real uh, uh, getaway setup and all of that. But it was kind of fun fun to play, and maybe you guys are going to get me into gaming. I'm going to review other robberies. Uh, check it out. You can check out my uh, my merch and all that stuff in the links below. Uh, that's pretty cool. We've got a lot coming up. Have a great day, everybody, man. Check out the series. Like us. Subscribe if you can. Do what you can. Thank you. Have a great day. And don't don't do the robbery, man. You know, you know me. I'm all about prison reform and making good choices. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching.